Hi, I'm uh, Mati Silt from uh, Lehe Brewery. We are from Estonia. Uh, we are based near Tallinn, a uh, small town called Keila. And we are a brewery that has a kettle size of 13 hectoliters. And we were founded about eight years ago. I joined the brewery about six years ago. And it's always been a family business, but uh, a few years ago, in 2019, uh, one family bought it from another family. So we, we were changed the owners, but it's still a family business. What's the styles that you like brewing, and is Estonia becoming a craft beer country, or is it still very little? Uh, yes, we Estonia. We, we started this Estonian craft beer boom. It, it happened like 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 this. Uh, Pohjala started. Pohjala, uh, we started. Ullenau started. Uh, it just came from nowhere, uh, so we are we're one of the first. And uh, uh, about styles, I think we make almost everything. We make alcohol-free beers. Our strongest beer is 21.9 percent. We also really like making sour beers, uh, IPAs, uh, double IPAs. Uh, I'm a really fan of lagers, uh, pilsners, but I think most of brewers are fan of pilsners. So. Yeah. Is there an Estonian tradition or are you finding the styles from other countries? Or Estonian uh, traditional style is uh, similar to Finnish Sahti. In Estonia we call it Kotuolo or home beer. And there is a few brewers that do it in Estonia and we have made collabs with them. But we don't do it uh, regularly. It's, it's, um, it's a wild style. It's um, almost like uh, Kvike in uh, Norway or, uh, or uh, Sahti in Finland. Are the public coming on to craft beer in Estonia or is it still very the cheap lager? Or are they, are they appreciating what you guys are doing? I think uh, with the COVID, uh, it started to become more mainstream. It doesn't sound logical, but uh, we started selling online more. Uh, we, we took our prices down to sell online. And I think more people started buying it. And we also started to make more lagers, more simpler beers, beers that are a bit cheaper. So I think it's uh, becoming more and more mainstream. For example, we made a, a Pilsner with an Estonian rock band that's popular among uh, like 50-year-olds and 40-year-olds. So they started drinking our beer. So it's became, becoming more ma mainstream. Why make a 21% beer? <laughs> <laughs> because you can. <laughs> It's, I think it's a, it's a bit of bravado uh, to show that uh, we can make things that people think are impossible, uh, and uh, it shows that uh, it shows our it shows what we can do. Skill. Yeah, skill. It shows that uh, we are not just a lager brewery or or just IPA brewery. That we can do different styles because we made an IPA that so uh, that was 20 percent. Yeah, and we call it session IPA. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. And you made a stout also. You brought a stout here that's around 19% or something. Yeah, 18% like percent, uh, singularity. It's, uh, I think, it's one of our, uh, one of our uh, main uh, main uh, beers, and uh, we make it all the, every year. And I think it's a really co really nice uh, card for us. Yeah, really like a business card. If you want to get to know Lehe, try Singularity. 18% and uh, yeah, yeah, it's... Where do you go from here? Do you expand or do you think you'll maintain what you're doing now? And... Uh, right now we are chewing about uh, 3,000 hectoliters per year and we can't do any more in our uh, current facility. So we have to expand in some time future, but when it's, uh, it's open right now. Well, thank you so much for talking yeah, to the Beer Idiots.